If you guys see that, you will know that something is wrong, and that something is very wrong, and I wish I would never have to make this video ever. I didn't think I would ever have to make this video ever in my lifetime, and I never thought that I would have to do this, but yes, as you guys can see, my dirt bike was stolen Tuesday. It is, no, not Tuesday, it wasn't stolen Tuesday, sorry, no, no. It was stolen Saturday, and it's today's Sunday. No, Friday. Jeez, I can't even remember. It was stolen Friday, and today's Sunday. So you guys are probably seeing this maybe today or, or Monday. But my bike was stolen, and that, that, that happened. I never expected anything like this to happen, ever. I never thought I would have to make a video like this. It was, it's something that is just so uncommonly to happen. So you guys are probably wondering, how did I get my, how did my bike get stolen my bike was stolen like I said Friday afternoon uh, my friend my friend came over one day and he was he came over and everyone was home my friend came over my dad left to go to the store to do a whatever to go he went to the store to do whatever he went out for 30 minutes my friend and I went upstairs and played Xbox we were sitting upstairs um, there was no cars here so um, it looked like, so it made it look like there was nobody home. And during that 30 minute period, which my dad was not home, a person, or this had to be planned because it's not, because it's not just possible for someone to just walk away with my bike. And if you guys know what bike I'm talking about, I'm talking about my dirt bike, my, my Honda. My bike, I'm gonna let you guys know so you guys aren't like blaming me for like, oh, they, it wasn't locked up or whatever. My bike is always locked up every every day whenever i get off from it i lock it up and it's like with a thick bike cable like the cable's like that it's like that thick it's a thick bike cable so it, it's 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 not it's not like you just use your everyday clippers and just break through it you have to have some like huge clippers to break through that it's just so it's not it's, it wasn't easy to go through so it had to be planned there's a there's a lot of people that come in my neighborhood and that work in here like gardeners and stuff so a lot of people drive by my house and they see my bike and they see the and they see it and they they know it's there a lot of people know it's there a lot of people in this neighborhood know I have that bike and they know that a lot and a lot of people know that I take care of that bike and I love that bike so uh, between that 30 minute period that my dad left that's when it had to have happened my theory is that someone who has seen my bike and has seen me riding around on it and knows about it, um, like saw that nobody was home. They made a plan, and they had they were just waiting for someone to leave, and they came by. It had to be a couple people, two or three people, because it couldn't have been a one-man job because it's it's a heavy bike to lift up. So they came by with some big, big clippers, like cable cutters, cut it. Because how I know that they cut it is because they took the chain, they took the cable with them. And so that happened, it got locked, they took it out, they cut it, and then they uh, rolled the bike away and loaded it into a truck because it can't fit into like any, any like vehicle. It would only fit into a, uh, like a, like a flatbed truck. like. It would, it barely fit in my mom's like Explorer one time, but it takes a while to load it in. So this was a quick job. So it's not like they couldn't have, it's not like they uh, had a lot of time to do this. And I know they didn't ride away with it because it has a key to it. And of course they could have hot wired it, but in the amount of time that it happened, there's no way that they had enough time to do that. But that's, that's pretty much what, um, what happened. I don't really want to walk too far. So I kind of just like turned around, uh, but I wanted to make this video so you guys know and what are what am I going to be doing from now on? I have no idea. 
this I like I you guys might not think that I'm super mad don't worry I am I'm just not I just don't think it's fair for me to show my aggression towards you guys and show how angry I am about this like and as you guys I don't know if you guys oh yeah, yeah I told you guys that I lost my phone the other like a like a week ago so I've lost two things within a like a week and a half time period and and, and it was in my neighborhood, like, you would think in a gated community that you would have your stuff safe and that you don't have to worry about it because it's a gated security community. There's security guards that ride around on golf carts 24-7, and I kid you not, 24-7. You would think that you, that you would be safe in your environment in which you live, but no, I was wrong. I, you, you literally can't trust any, I thought... Um, and I don't load my bike in the back of, uh, of my neighbor, of my, of my backyard because it would just be too much of a hassle to take it around the back with those rocks and everything. It's just, I keep it there and it's, I know it's safe. I've always locked it up. It's, it's, it, I just, it's just, it's so hard to explain and of my anger I am experiencing right now. I, I, I just need to tell you guys because this is my channel. This is what I do. And yes, my dad and I went to this police station, filed a police report, and we gave him a picture and everything. And so that's the best that can happen. But based off of what I told you guys, the police over here are not very good, and they are not helpful, and they cannot do much. Because based, they're not going to go out. Sorry for the wind, guys. If, you, if there's a lot of wind, but they they're not going to go out and just do. What, they're not gonna like physically go search for it. All right, there's I'm walking in the wind. Um, they're not gonna go around just like look for it because that's not what they do. They're going to uh, have it like on their. They're gonna give it the picture to all the local uh, to the police department, and then if they see someone riding it around, because no one's gonna steal a dirt bike to not ride it. So if they see someone riding it. Of course, they'll stop them and probably arrest them, but it's not like they're on like a search for it. And one of the main reasons why I'm so mad about this is because you guys know I paid for that dirt bike that I have. I paid for it with my own money, and I, I paid for it because I got money for a gift uh, because of something I've been working on since I was 11 years old. If I'm Jewish, so I had this thing called a bar mitzvah. And so you work very hard to learn all this stuff for two years in a different language to do. And I worked so hard for this, and this is the one thing that I wanted, and now it's taken away from me. You guys can just imagine how mad I am. Like, I'm way more mad about this than my phone. I mean, I have a backup phone. Like I said, I have a Samsung, so that's not as bad, but my dirt bike, that is, that's, that's a whole different level, and it's just something that you just can't. You, it's like you can't get back. It's what I do for you guys. I I bring you guys videos every week on my bike and now it's gone and it makes and it's it's so upsetting my only chance of quick of quickly getting my bike back is possibly um, going to security and seeing if they can check the cameras for the for someone leaving in a truck with it in the back and so I'll probably check on Monday because they can't do it on weekends. And that's my like only hope for receiving my bike back. I it's it's a it's a really big problem and um, I have consulted with my parents and everything and they said that um, this is still like in discussion. Don't get me wrong, nothing's final, but if in the event of being of replacing the bike, I will possibly be getting a larger bike as a lot of you guys have been recommending like a 250 like a 250L something like that like that's what I'll probably get but that is nothing final that is nothing like that is nothing like uh that's just like our last resort if we can't get it back I I don't want that to be the option I want my bike back it's my bike I I it's 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 what I've like had for all these years it's I've had this bike for close to two years now and I it's, it's it makes it like I have waking up in the middle of the night crying because of it I've had dreams having that it was still here then I wake up and I realize it's gone and I will cry like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I cried it's 
it's something that it's not so much about oh it was so expensive is that it was so meaningful to me and how I received it and how hard I worked for it and how much that was to my to me and, and when you get something like that taken away it's it's devastating it's devastating I don't even know where to keep I don't even know what to keep talking about there's not much to add I wanted to let you guys know because I want you guys to give me some options in the comment section down below um, and to tell me what you guys want to see because I want to get I want to bring you guys the videos that you want and obviously I can't do the moto vlogs because of this um, I don't know what to upload that you guys want to see my I might not have moto vlogs for a very long time and it, it really makes me sad and it, I don't think you guys know this, but my I do my motive vlogs for one of my school like projects things, and I like do it like we have this thing called CAS, and it's a cre and um, the C in CAS stands for creative. And my creative is doing YouTube, and so if I don't have my motorbike, it's like I can't do my school projects and stuff. It's it, it oh my god, I I can't even explain how upset I am. And, oh my god, the sun is in my eyes. But I don't even know what to talk about. Please, guys, hit the like button down below for to really show your support. Because I'm really, really having a hard time right now. Uh, I, it makes me really sad every day when I know it's not there. And I drive, and whenever we come home, I always pray that, like, hopefully it'll just show up in my driveway. And when it doesn't, it just makes me sad. So, please smash the like button, guys. I want this to be my most liked video in my whole channel. It might not pass my uh, how to wheelie video, but I want to be up there with it. Please, guys, this is really important to me. It really shows your support. And leave down below what you guys want to see because I want to bring you guys content that you guys want to see. I don't want to just give you guys crap that you don't want to see. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're really close to 700 subscribers. And I really, really want the support on this channel. And it's... I, I, have, I, I have, like, no words for, for what is happening right now. Everything that could possibly be going wrong is going wrong. And so, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say. Please share this video with your friends. And if you guys live in the Bahamas where I live, uh, if you guys see a red to uh, CRF 110 please let me know and please comment down I'll know if like you live here of course because blah but whatever so I hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you guys next time peace out